Hey foodies, let's make some honey Dijon salmon in the oven. First, in a bowl, you're going to mix some honey, some Dijon mustard, then add some apple cider vinegar. Apple juice, a mixture of cornstarch and water, or you could do cornstarch and apple juice if you prefer. This is just going to help to thicken up the sauce later. Set that aside and then grab a pot over medium heat, add some butter, and then you're going to cook minced garlic and ginger. Stir it around in that butter until it is fragrant. It can be golden, but not brown. Add the mixture of the honey and the mustard that we did earlier. Then sprinkle in some ground turmeric. Add brown sugar, stir everything together, give it a taste, see if you need to adjust anything. Let it simmer over low to medium heat until it thickens slightly. I pour it onto a plate just to help it cool quickly. You can pour it into a bowl if you prefer, but you just want to let it cool down to room temperature. Here I have two pieces of salmon that I just rubbed some olive oil on them. And I added some all-purpose seasoning, a little paprika, ginger powder, black pepper, and just rub that into the salmon. And then you're going to get that cooled down sauce and just spread it all over. Make sure that the sauce is cool because you don't want the surface of the salmon to start cooking because you pour hot sauce on top. Okay. Then you're going to preheat your broiler. You can do medium or you could do 500 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a broiler, then turn up your oven to the highest temperature to cook the salmon. And here's our gorgeous finished salmon. Around the edges might burn because of course there is some sugar in there, but that's fine. The salmon is in there for just a short time. So having a little bit of char or caramelization on the edges is just fine all i do now is garnish add some lemon add some parsley and your salmon is good to go if you want to have lots of sauce to eat with something like a mashed potato just make extra sauce this is the perfect weekday dinner dish so give it a try and let me know how it works out for you see you next time